very good morning this is jyotir my department of biology so how are you students i hope everyone you are fine so today i'm going to continue the class with a topic science what is science because as being a science teacher first of all i should tell you what is science because without knowing this major topic if you continue other there is no use so first we continue what is science so science it is a meaning what is a meaning of science is knowledge what is the meaning of it knowledge in which language in latin in language of latin in language of latin scientia means knowledge from these term the science has derived and what is about science science are uh, already you know it science is a branch which deals with study of nature yes am i right science which deals with study of nature so we will look at about what is science each and everything now okay so what is science so when you want to know something else anything anything then you have to know three points first of all what why how so what is science first we look at what is science later why science and how science has a much okay <coughs> so science it is an organized study of it is an organized study of knowledge so what is science science is an organized study of knowledge about what nothing but it is a study of nature so it is a study of nature what is nature what is present around of us that is called nature which has living and non living in it so how we will study about this nature by the observation am i right so science is also an observation science is an observation for example here you need to know something about then you must and should need to observe your surrounding conditions compulsory and after observation what you have learned from it that you need to go with experimentation so science is an observation as well as experimentation is it clear and what we observe and what we experiment which is present around of our condition nothing but what are present around of our condition are nothing but living things and non living things so how we have to learn about this living and non living for these again there are some branches okay so how we will study about i will tell you now so this science as of the uh, study again 
has divided into two types based on the study of living and non-living. First, we have to know what are living on the earth and what are non-living on the earth. Okay. So, for example, we look at about, first of all, non-living. Okay. What we look at about? Non-living. The study of non-living is also called physical science. In physical science, we study about non-living. So, what are the non-living present on the earth? The natural non-living things. The first one, sun. It is the ultimate energy. It is the ultimate source of energy. And the second one, water. What is the second one? Water. And what is the third one? Soil. Sun, water, soil and air. These are the natural non-living things what are present on the earth. And studying about these all non-living things are related with the physical science. And then meanwhile, the study, the study which deals with non-living is called physical physical science. So the study which deals with non-living things is called physical science. Then we also have to look at about living next. If a living need to survive on the earth, compulsory they need sunlight, water, soil and air. Without this, see for example, every day I am eating food. To prepare that food, plant takes sunlight and utilizes even for my biological activities. Biological activities means my internal body activities like respiration, digestion, uh, circulation, movement, everything. For that I need some energy. That energy I, I get from food. And how that food is prepared? Sun. Is it clear? And one more. I need water every day. Because not only for drinking, for everything, every activity, irrigation, like for cultivation of plants, for washing clothes, for, uh, for cleaning utensils, for everything, I need water. And also soil. Because if there is no soil, I can't live because this house is constructed and plants are grown and every area, any, any types of animals are growing because of the soil. And the soil has a gravity so that we could able to live here. Otherwise, no. And next, air. I may survive without eating food for two to three days, but without Breathing air, I can't. So that's what these all are the non living things, natural non living things which are present on the air and very, very important for the living. And they studying about these non living things is generally called physical science. And I don't think that only uh, we study in a physical science about this. Different things, for example, in physical science, again, it is being classified into two types physics, chemistry. So in that, in physics, we study about sound, motion, and solar system, right? As like in a chemistry. In chemistry, what we study about? About different chemicals, right? So, like uh, different, about different non-living things where we study that is called physical science. So, next we look at about biological science, which deals with living things, okay?
So, leaving. Living things present on the earth. What are the living things present here? Plants. Plants. Animals. And microorganisms. So these all are the living things which we find on it. So studying about these living things is called biological science. What is it? Biological science. What it is about? Biological science. Then, again, how to study about these plants and animals and microorganisms? Again, for that too, there are some other branches which deals with it. So, in that, the number one for plants, where we study about plants is called botany. And where we study about animals is called zoology. And where we study about microorganisms called microbiology. Microorganisms, you may get it out. Madam, what are microorganisms? Microorganisms which are in, which are uh, uh, tiny size, very small size which can't see with our naked eye. We can't see with our naked eye. Just only with the help of microscope, we can see them. Is it clear? So now look at it. So basically, living things, the study about the living things is called biological science. And in this again, we study about plants, animals and microorganisms. Because on the earth, plants, animals, microorganisms are the living things which we consider as a living. Because they have life. So about this life we will discuss later. Okay. Because just we are now looking about what is science. That's all. Okay. So and what is science? What is science? It's a study which deals with study of nature. In this nature what are there? Living things are there? Non-living things are there. And what about the study of non-living things? Physical science. And when you look at about the living, study of living things is biological science. Again in this biological science, we again look at about plants and animals, microorganisms. So study of plants is called botany, study of an animal is called zoology and study of microorganisms are called microbiology. Is it clear? So next we look at about why we study about this science. Okay, so we look at about it. So, we look at now science about, so in that first of all, fundamental science, next applied science and next empirical science, formal science. Again empirical science divided into biological science as well as physical. So, what is fundamental science? So, fundamental science is nothing but what is present on the earth that all we learn. So what is present on the earth, studying about that each and every point which is present on the earth is called fundamental science. It is also called basic science. So for example, before I told you, like living, non-living is present. So like, so what is present on the earth, studying about that is called fundamental science. Like for example, in the textbooks, we study many things. So learning something in the books is called fundamental science. When you look at about applied science. So what you are studying, that you apply in your regular life. For example, we learned that uh, take a seed and sow it in soil, it grow like a new plant. So that you have studied and learned. And now that we need to do an application. So what we need to do? So we know it, if we sow a seed inside of the soil and provide water, nutrients and warmness, proper space, everything proper to it, then it grows up and germinates. So, that we have to do practically. Take a plant, pot, 
fill it with the soil and sow a seed in it and pour water. Then it grows up like a new plant. Is it clear? So that is called applied science. And when you look at the back, this applied science is not characterized again into further groups, but this fundamental science is also called basic science again, has further divided into empirical science as well as formal science. Empirical science, this science which deals with actually studying about uh, living and non-living. And formal science, what we have studied about living and non-living, that is conducted here as a technical method. Okay. So that it is called formal science. And then come back to here. So again this empirical science has classified into biological science. Why this biological science is called life science? Because biology itself nothing but living, study of living. So biological science means study about the living things. That's what it is called life science. And the next one, physical science. So where we study about non-living things. So here, I need to tell you a very clear point here. That is, again this biological science categorized into three branches. So that I will tell you, just because here space is not enough, so that I did not write. We will again look at about this physical science somehow down. Okay. So physical science, when you look at about, again it further classified into two other types. One is physics, the another one is chemistry. Am I right? One is physics, the another one is chemistry. In physics we study about, and in a physical science don't think that only physics and chemistry in physical science, even we conclude mathematics, arithmetic, anything. Okay. Even social science also. Social science under for example, like uh, studying about people. So it it uh, it under come to social science. So now look at here. So physics, chemistry, it belong to physical science. Uh, even here you can add up mathematics too. And other than that, we also have discussed about biological science. Again, this biological science has class categorized into three types. One is botany, zoology, microbiology. Again, these groups are further classified into many groups. Like, if you look at about microbiology, in this we study about different microorganisms like bacteria, virus, fungi and everything about different diseases. And when you look at about zoology, we also study about different animals. Then we look at about plants in a botany, about different plants. Like, in each and every area, each and every corner, we study about science. Actually, why we need to study science? What are the reasons? The first thing, first thing why we study about science? We study science to develop. We study science to learn. We study science to experiment. And we study science to build our career. But for example, those who study science, they become science teachers, or maybe scientists, or maybe become engineers, or doctors. Like, so if you study, you can choose your career. And it also helps in a development. And what development? Like we can develop brains and surrounding conditions and as well as medication. And also can discover many diseases and also can invent many medicines. Even you see, now when I compared to the primitive era and now. Primitive era means olden days and now. So olden days there were no mobile phones and no construction like these apartments. And there were no bridges and bridges and okay there were bridges but not much developed and now see now we are explaining you in an online online classes there were no online classes in olden days and day and uh, now rockets airplanes vehicles and roads 
each and everything is well developed but in olden days there were nothing like that now it's developed because of the impact of science the science has brought many changes in earth so that's what why we need science and it for developmentation in any aspect to if you need to develop you must and should need to study about science is it clear why what science what is science science is a study of organized study of knowledge and it is also known study of nature and why need to study for developmentation and how we need to study how we need to study because if you see now i gathered all shells shells you know gavel different shells in a area and i asked you pick which is in red color and uh, round shaped light then it becomes somewhat difficult in that group if you divide them as of their size as of the shape as of their color it becomes very easy to like if science is divided into many branches then it becomes very easy to study if for example you see if about studying about non living things like physics chemistry botany zoology microbiology all are in same group then it won't become a easy task to study so to make it easy here these branches are again classified further into different groups so about these branches we will study further okay so thank you students have a nice day i hope today you enjoy and learn i'll send you notes just please follow your teacher instruction thank you everyone have a nice day